in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, Protosynthesis, and Cork Drive are new abilities featured on the Paradox Pokemon, which are past and future versions of current ones. These abilities are the exact same, except the Protosynthesis triggers on the Sun and Cork Drive triggers an Electric Terrain, and both boost the highest stat of Pokemon by 50%. This excludes HP because you can't get an HP raise. However, the description doesn't tell us everything, so I'm going to test some scenarios so we can fully understand how these abilities work. So I'm going to do a doubles battle against myself here, and we'll test some stuff out. So it's now Turkle, who of course has Drought. And Protosynthesis triggers immediately on both Brute Bonnet and Roaring Moon. Then Drought triggers, even though Brute Bonnet is, as you can see, only has 131 speed and Turkle has 228 or 152 base. So Protosynthesis just happens even before Drought. I'm not sure if that's intentional or, or what, but that's how it seems to work, at least on Pokemon Showdown. Okay, I have a booster energy on my Espeon, and I'm going to skill swap Roaring Moon, and we're going to see what happens. Okay, so we got to keep our booster energy, and Roaring Moon still keeps its attack raise with Protosynthesis, which is... Again, I'm not sure if that's actually how it's supposed to work, but if it is, that's pretty cool. Okay, I want to trick Roaring Moon, our booster energy now. Which I'll demonstrate again. So we send out Sandy Shocks and gets a special attack raise. But we still have our booster energy. So if Sun or Electric Terrain is up, you will not consume your booster energy. You'll instead just get the effect. Hmm, that wasn't exactly what I wanted to have happen. <laughs> Forgot I was clicking for different mine there. Okay, I was not even trying to test that, but that was very interesting. Baton Pass passed the speed boost of Protosynthesis, but it wore off, <laughs> and then it triggered again when Sun ended. Okay, uh, I had no idea any of that was going to happen. I mean, I knew it was going to trigger when Sun wore off and then we'd use our booster energy, but I was not expecting to Baton Pass the Protosynthesis speed boost. Of course, Baton Pass is generally not allowed, so it's probably not a big deal, but I was not expecting that. Okay, and the last thing I wanted to test was, does flinging a booster energy do anything? I'm not really sure what to expect. You cannot fling booster energy, okay? That's just not allowed, apparently. So Magic Room does block Protosynthesis. Again, at least on Pokemon Showdown. Uh, uh, makes sense because it does require using the item, but I wasn't sure if it would actually do that. I thought it would say like, oh, this is an ability, not an item, but I guess that's not right. Okay, and let's see what happens once Magic Room runs out. Protosynthesis immediately triggers at the end of the turn. It does not wait for the next turn to start. Oh yeah, there's one more thing I forgot to test, so we're going to see if lowering a stat affects which stat is raised by Quirk Drive or Protosynthesis. So we're going to put up Sticky Web, then we're going to basically do nothing for this turn. Okay, then we're going to send our Iron Bundle, who as you can see right here has speed as the highest stat, and then Special Attack. So it's an iron bundle. So cork drive happens before sticky web. That's good to know. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. And post in the comments below and let me know if any of the behaviors on Pokemon should have conflicted with what actually happens in the game.